Hello, I'm back again today with another uh, book tag. Just kind of hanging out this afternoon. Everything's pretty uh, gray and kind of yucky, but I mean, it's not raining, so that's an improvement. Um, the book tag I wanted to talk about today is actually in honor of one of my friends. Um, and this book tag is the BTS Love Yourself book tag. Um, now, I am not really in ARMY or anything like that. Um, I do like their music um, and K-pop in general, but I'm not like full-blown fan base or anything. Um, but one of my best friends is, um, and she absolutely adores them. So here's a book tag in honor of her. Um, I found this online, and I believe it was started by Kayla at Books and Blends. So, I figured I could start with, um, the first question, which is DNA, the novel that started your love for books. Um, as far as something that started my love for books, I have always loved reading. And have always loved um, being read to. Um, I can't really say anything about the books I was read when I was really little because honestly, I was read a lot of things. Um, but I do remember the first book that I ever read by myself um, was called something like. Bugs Bunny and the Great Carrot Machine or something like that. It was basically just about Bugs Bunny and this, like, machine that's supposed to help him, um, harvest carrots easier, and there was, like, a whole carrot patch thing, and then, I don't know, Elmer Fudd was involved, I think. Anyway, so I would say, I guess, that book was what started my love for books, because it was the first one I ever read alone. Um, the next question would be Mic Drop, a popular novel that deserves all the hype that it gets. For this, I would definitely say A Darker Shade of Magic by E.E. E. Schwab. This book deserves every bit of hype that it ever gets. This was amazing. It had me on the edge of my seat. Um, the magic system was interesting, but not, like, too complicated. Um, the idea of the different Londons was really cool. Um, the dark bits in it were also really, um, creepy, but interesting, and I just, this is a great book, and, um, I have to read the other two books in the series, but I'm sure they're gonna be just as awesome. For the next question, Fake Love, a book or character you used to love but now dislike. Um, as, far, as far as this one goes, I have to say that I'm having a hard time with books by um, Victoria Holt. I read a handful of these when I was a teenager and I really enjoyed them. I thought the romances were kind of cool and the adventures and um, the mysteries were really interesting and exciting. Um, but now, rereading them um, about maybe 12 to 15 years after the first time I read them, I have to say they're not really as awesome as they were when I was 16. There's not. Um, I mean, they're nice, but. This one, The Shivering Sands, was not as cool as it was the first time I read it, and I just finished another one, uh, Mask of the Enchantress, and I don't know, it just, it didn't live up to my memory of how these books were um, when I was younger. Um. Next up is Let Go, a book series you were sad to see end. Um, that one, obviously gonna have to go with Harry Potter. 
um, Harry Potter consumed the majority of, like, my childhood and growing up, so that series I was very, uh, sad to let go of. Euphoria, which is my favorite song of theirs, actually. Um, a novel that makes you feel nostalgic. Uh, something that makes me feel nostalgic would be Day of Shinkatique by Marguerite Henry. Actually, all of Marguerite Henry's books make me feel nostalgic. Um, I was definitely a kind of a horse girl that did not have a horse and never learned to ride. Um, I was obsessed with um, books and movies about horses when I was little, um, and this was my all-time favorite out of the series. Um, I do have to say, though, her other books are also wonderful, um, but this is the one that had my heart for most of my childhood. Um, I still have not been able to go to Pony Roundup Day, which saddens me greatly. Um, and now it looks like it's a little uncertain that, I don't know, that's probably not going to happen this year, and I don't know when it's going to happen again, because things are really uncertain, but, um, yeah, this, uh, this makes me feel all, you know, nostalgic. Uh, let's see, next question is Singularity, a book character that helps you get through a bad time in your life. Um, for that, I would, I guess besides like Harry Potter, I would have to say that that would be Hamlet um, from the Shakespeare play. Um, I had a hard time uh, several years ago when my grandmother passed away. And for some reason, Hamlet was the book that I ended up reaching for. And I really felt with Hamlet's um, despair. I mean, there was obviously, you know, nobody that I could revenge against, um, you know, because it wasn't an unnatural um, passing. But I still kind of very much identified um, with his sadness overall and try and grief and trying to deal with it so that could definitely help <laughs> um and then i believe this is the last question yes epiphany a book or character that made you realize something about yourself um i wouldn't say it's this particular book but it's the first one of the series that i found um and that would be uh, the Princess Diaries series by Mae Cabot, and the character in question would be Mia Thermopolis. Um, and also in general, just Mae Cabot's um, writing. This series really helped me when I was a teenager and feeling like I was awkward and terrible at everything, and I was always going to be really weird and probably a failure. And Mia discovered writing which was something I'd always kind of like denied myself when people told me that I was like good at writing and maybe I should, you know, think about that for my future. And I was like, no, I don't want to do that. So her journey to discovering that, you know, actually I think she's good at is writing um, was something that really, really made me think about it. And then uh, make habits writing in general because it really uh, helped me feel like less of a freak. <laughs> when I was a teenager and um, that really stayed with me. And when I got to college and we were doing like reflections on um, our writing and what kind of writers we wanted to be and what we wanted to do with our degrees, um, something that I reflected on and really came to realize was that the main reason that I wanted to become a writer and more specifically write for um, young adults possibly would be um because of May Cabot's books especially the Princess Diaries because they really helped me um feel better about myself as a teenager and I really wanted to do that you know be able to do that be able to write something that I could hopefully um somewhere out there make another teenager feel 
like maybe they're not a freak and that you know what everything is going to be okay um yeah so <laughs> um let's see so is the last question um so that is the bts uh love yourself book tag um if you don't know who bts is I don't know how you don't at this point because they've gotten really popular in the last couple of years, but um, you should try to check them out. I would definitely recommend Euphor Euphoria. Um, it's a really good song. Um, but all their music is really good. And uh, yeah, if you are interested in trying this book tag, go for it. Um, I am going to get back to reading and doing um. A lot of nothing. So, um, see you guys and uh, stay well. <laughs>